Welcome to the Insight Graphics 2019.6 Release Spotlight. In this release, we've added the ability for you to create custom tool window layouts, improve the event list, added the ability to pick instances in the Acceleration Structure Viewer, and made numerous improvements to the GPU Trace user interface. In order to improve user workflows, you can now save and restore the layout of the tool windows in Insight Graphics. Once you have the windows open and docked in your ideal location, simply choose Save Window Layout from the Window menu. Type in the name for the layout and click OK to save it. To restore a layout to focus on a different task, like debugging an API setup issue, simply select the desired entry from the Restore Window Layout menu, and the windows will be open and moved to the correct locations. Insight Graphics now offers more robust filtering in the Events view. You can now right-click on any event and easily hide events of that kind. For more detailed filtering, click the Configure button to open a dialog and hide the types of events you do not want to see. Once configured, name your configuration for easy access in the future. In the Acceleration Structure view, hovering over a particular geometry group now highlights all the triangles within that group. Additionally, clicking on that group now selects the data in the Tree view, allowing you to see the configuration and data that defines the geometry. In GPU Trace, we've improved the way user annotations work and renamed it to User Ranges. Select and drag a region in the row named User Ranges, and you can now specify a name and description for that duration. These user ranges are saved with the GPU Trace file, allowing you to share this information with teammates in order to specify areas of interest in your frame for follow up. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to send us your bugs, feature requests, and general feedback using the integrated feedback button at the top right of the window. If you like this video and would like to see more like this in the future, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the NVIDIA GameWorks channel.